Hi everyone, I'm Yasir Ubandar from LN Sports. So after a long 45 day wait, here we come to the finals of the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup 2023. So everything is set at the Narendra Modi Stadium. So make me say this, it's the largest and the biggest cricket stadium in the world. So what else you can ask for the uh, ICC Cricket World Cup final? So we all know that Australia are in the finals uh, to face with uh, India. So it's going to be a huge uh, challenge to the uh, Australians, uh, same as for the Indians as well uh, I saw many experts saying that the pressure factor is more into Indians but may I say the Indian crowd so this is going to be a very important thing may I say this the Indian crowd are well synchronized with the Indian team because I saw it uh, whenever Virat Kohli is coming uh, when uh, a background song is being played in the stadium always uh, with the players the crowd is always synchronized so I think because of that not like uh, few years back right now uh, the players are not facing uh, that sort of uh, huge crowd pressure instead uh, it will be a very festive and a very uh, interesting uh, platform nicely set for the Indians so if we take the crowd pressure I think uh, it won't be a problem at all for the Indian players and also may I say after the IPL franchise started about 10-11 uh, years back uh, the even the young players, they are so much used to play under pressure, uh, under a lot of uh, crowd. So I don't think uh, India would mind uh, having a large spectator base uh, tomorrow. And also, may I say, uh, coming to the Australians, there are uh, plus factors as well. It's simply because like they are also so much used to play uh, in these Indian uh, conditions. It's simply because a lot of Australian players are uh, so much used with these Indian conditions, pitch conditions to crowd conditions. It's because like it has been their second home uh, because of uh, IPL. And also like uh, interestingly, there are a few players who have been married to uh, Indian girls as well. So because of that, uh, it, even for the Australian side, it will be a very homely environment so, so let me speak about the pitch as well so tomorrow is going to be a definite uh, batter friendly pitch uh, as we have seen throughout the uh, 45 days that we have seen there are so many high scoring matches in this uh, particular world cup 2023 so why not for the final so definitely as per the unofficial sources that i got uh, it's going to be a very flat very flat dry and a grassless pitch so it will be a, a paradise for the batter so uh, Whoever the team uh, winning the toss, definitely the choice is going to be uh, batting first and posting a huge, uh, humongous uh, scorecard where naturally they can uh, put the pressure to the other side. And also, uh, let me say about uh, the due factor as well. Whoever the team bowling second, the due factor won't be a problem as because uh, during this time of the uh, year uh, in uh, in this part of the world, the uh, due factor these days there's a less amount of due, so I don't think it will be a big problem. But the factor is. With the uh, pitch being offered, after the first inning, definitely there will be rough patches and the spinners will definitely uh, enjoy. So, uh, speaking from the Indian uh, point of view, I love to see uh, Ravi Ashwin playing for the final because he's an experienced campaigner and he's an experienced player. I think uh, coming to big occasions like this, experience matters a lot. Uh, uh, we definitely need the performance as well. but. Definitely an experienced campaigner. Uh, probably the, it's their last uh, World Cup match for uh, uh, Ravi Ashwin. But I prefer from the Indians uh, prospect, uh, definitely Ravi Ashwin should have a place inside the 11. And also, I have certain doubts with the place of uh, Stephen Smith from the Australian side because like he's been struggling and uh, it's a big uh, question mark whether Stephen Smith have been doing his part for the team. So definitely the Australian side, they need to reassess the, who the 11 have to be playing tomorrow and uh, they have to be very uh, cautious and definitely don't forget guys, both these teams, they are uh, they haven't lost any games for the if we take the final five matches they have won each and every game so they are coming with tremendous confidence and with the uh, great energy as well so definitely we can uh, experience a cracker so don't forget guys the toss is definitely going to be another vital factor and also guys there's another controversial fact uh, which is aired these days uh, simply because about the toss because we definitely need to say Indian team is a very well balanced and I think the best team in the uh, tournament so far but still uh, it's uh, a controversial stuff a controversial points there where uh, people highlight about the toss itself because normally gradually as per the ICC protocols as far as I know when the toss is being tossed up and when once it's landed definitely first of all the first thing what should be done is to have a close-up a camera close-up before anyone touches the coin but it haven't been happening in the recent past uh, always what happens is once the captain tosses the uh, coin up uh, the match referee will go and simply he will uh, 
take it to his hand and he will declare the result okay uh, it's australia's toss or the indians toss i think that shouldn't happen even in the semi finals it didn't take place so definitely we'll hope uh, because if not for an example let's think india won the toss but uh, there will be so many spectators from all around the world will be uh, pointing out okay look here yeah, india cheated so i think indians don't want to hear that as because this uh, tremendous fabulous team uh, with so much of raw talent and uh, great enthusiasm so i think uh, they shouldn't let anything uh, take uh, their glory out of them uh, because uh, up to up to this they have won 10 consecutive victories in this world cup so let's hope uh, that uh, the toss will be shown in camera once the coin landed definitely it should happen they have to show the coin itself before anyone touches the coin signing off yasir bandara from ln sports